I love Cuban food and I have heard that there's a food truck that comes to the gateway every so often called Havana Eats. And in the past, I have driven all the way from Utah County to Salt Lake City to get Cuban food from a place called La Cubana. So I need to see this place for myself and I'm gonna let you know what it's like. I haven't done a food truck review in quite a while because I've been trying to save money because they're pricey, right? But Havana Eats is one that I've had my eye on for a long time. I follow them on Instagram and every time that they were here, I had brought food from home. So today it coincided, it was perfect. expect to pay $8.50 uh, for the original Cuban. They have one called the Tampa Cuban that's $9. And then in addition to that, they have empanadas and a few other side dishes, rice bowls and things like that. So come check them out. Um, you're gonna have to follow them on Instagram or Facebook to find out where they're going to be. They're part of the food truck league, so they may come to a park or a plaza or something near you. And now, quick review of the food. I've tried a lot of Cuban food, including a Cuban place in San Diego called Embargo Grill that is not just the best Cuban food I've ever had, but probably the best food I've ever had in general. So the bar was astronomically high for Cuban food to be you know, top of my list. Prior to today, the only Cuban food I'd had in Utah was from a place called La Cubana. Um, Cristina La Cubana makes incredible food. She does lechon with a caja china, and it's like authentic, authentic stuff. Um, she only is available during the farmer's market here in Salt Lake City during the summer, and she just has a little tent set up there. So she's still working on a food truck. In the meantime, I'm gonna have to settle for Havana Eats. Not quite as good um, as La Cubana, in my opinion. Um, the Cuban sandwich was not quite as robust and flavorful, a little bit too much pickle, a little bit too much mustard, uh, but the meat was good. The, the press on it was good. The, uh, the bread on the sandwich itself was fantastic. That was probably the, the high point for me. Um, so could have done with a little more of that authentic Cuban flavor. But, you know, they have Cuban coffee over there. Um, the guy who runs this place is actually from Tampa. And so Cuban sandwiches often, you know, associated with Cuba, but really made popular by Florida. Um, so La Cubana with Cristina is from Miami. These guys are from Tampa. Not quite as good, a little more Americanized in my experience. Now, I, don't, I guess I don't really know what's truly, truly authentic, but I'm gonna give the edge to La Cubana as far as Cuban food in Utah goes. They were aware of their competition, uh, but they're more mobile, so they have that going for them. Come check them out, and definitely come check out La Cubana in, uh, in the summer at the farmer's market. And then you can come say hi to all my friends over here. They're all hiding off screen. <laughs> okay, in the meantime, subscribe to this channel by clicking over here in this area, and on this side, check out some of the other videos that I've made. Um, thank you for subscribing, and let me know in the comments below, is there a better Cuban food place here in Utah that I haven't tried? Because I need to. Thanks.